In this video, I'll show you how to set up your 4S quad as a dual 4S and 6S rig. So you can go out to the field with 4S and 6S batteries, plug them in in whatever order you like, and you don't have to switch anything on the radio or on the flight controller settings, you just go out and fly. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you're in the same situation as me, because in 2018 I built myself a freestyle quad with all of the components rated for 6S except for the motors, which are still 4S. And at this point in time, I know that the future is 6S, so I don't want to buy 4S batteries anymore. But I don't want to throw away my 4S motors. So, well, it turns out I didn't have to. Let's take a look at flight footage of this quad on 4S and 6S, and then go back and I'll show you how to configure it. So here we are on board, and I want you to pay attention to the propeller sound and throttle position. So I flew the quad with these kind of batteries and as you can see the 6S ones are absolutely enormous because these are from my racer quad and that of course affected the handling and you know nevertheless it felt really good. Uh, it felt like the motors had more response at the bottom, like more response to when I'm just cruising and like popping up, it felt great and also the Props sounded really well, I mean really clean, there was no noise in the video and the motors came down just barely warm as in 4S. So I'm absolutely convinced it works. Let's talk about motors. Motors don't really have cell rating, instead they have velocity constant or KV. KV determines how fast the motor spins depending on the input voltage. Of course you cannot change the KV of your 4S motor. But what you can do is you can instruct your flight controller to limit the maximum voltage it outputs to the motor. And if you calculate that limit right, you can match the top RPMs on 6S with 100% RPMs on 4S. And that's effectively lowering the KV down. Now, how do you calculate that? You start with your target KV for 6S. Let's say it's 1750. You divide that by the actual KV of your motor, in my case it's 25, 22, and you multiply the result by 100 to get the percentage. In my case it's 69. There are two ways to do it, the wrong one and the right one. The wrong one is to do throttle limit, either on your radio or in the flight controller. It's wrong because even though the throttle is limited, your flight controller can still be able to do 100% motor power during flips and rolls or when it clips a branch or experience any other external influence. And in that situation you can either like smoke a motor or the quad can freak out. And that's wrong. The right way is called motor output limit and it's available in Beta Flight 4. Motor output limit is bound to PAD profiles. So we can have two profiles, one for 4S with no limit and one for 6S with a calculated limit. What's cool about Beta Flight 
is you can configure it to switch to the needed profile depending on the battery voltage. Now before you jump to bit of light configurator, make sure the components of your quad are actually rated for 6S, especially the ESC and the flight controller because usually that one accepts battery voltage. Also if you power your camera and VDX from the battery voltage, you want to check those except 6S too. All right, so let's see how we configure this thing in beta flight. So I plug my quad in and there are a few prerequisites to this automatic PID profile switching with the, with the motor output limit. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to power and battery and make sure your maximum cell voltage is set to 4.4 volts. That will help you make sure that the flight controller always detects a number of cells correctly. So you set it to 4.2, 4.4, sorry, and you hit save. The other thing, you go to PID tuning tab and you need to copy your active profile to all the other profiles to make sure the settings are, you know, those that you use. So if your current one is profile one, then you hit copy profile values. Copy values from current profile to profile two and also copy values from current profile to profile 3. Copy. That way we made all the profiles identical. So we hit save here and head to the COI. Now in the COI we need to configure two profiles, one for 4S and one for 6S. So we start by selecting the profile 0, which is the first profile. We type set auto profile cell count equals 4. That means our first profile is for 6, oh, sorry, for 4 cell. And there is nothing else to do here because for 4 cell we don't want the motor output limit. So then we type profile 1, the next profile. This is our 6S profile. We type set auto profile cell count equals 6 and set motor output limit equals here we plug in our calculated limit percentage right in my case it's 69 oh there's a typo motor there we go so that's the 6s profile and on this profile the motor output is limited to 69 percent you have to use your own calculated value. And now we type profile 2. That will be the third profile, which we will not use, but it's like a catch-all profile. In case you plug, I don't know, two cell, five cell battery, this profile will be selected. To make that happen, we type set auto profile cell count equals minus one. So then you have type save. And that's pretty much it. Now, how do we check that this thing works? Well, there is one option. Um, if we head to PID tuning, you will see that the profile 3 is now selected. Now remove the props and power the quad with a 4S battery. So... Did you see that the profile just changed to profile 1? That's, that's the automatic battery voltage detection working and selecting the needed profile. So now I'm gonna switch the battery off and power the thing with the voltage corresponding to two cell battery with my bench supply. So pay attention to the profile selector. Did you see that? It jumped to profile two. So that means it really selects the profile based on the battery voltage. And that's pretty much it. So the other thing is that now you have separate profiles for 4S and 6S, so you can actually do PID tuning for 6S separately. Just make sure you select the right profile. What I found in my flights that for 6S, I didn't have to touch anything with PIDs, and which, which kind of makes sense because we make the 4S motors work as if they were low kV 6s motors. So yeah, I guess that's that's super simple actually. So there you have it. For me it's a real game changer because now I can use all my 4s motors and buy new 6s batteries. And if your quad supports it, definitely give it a shot. Cheers. <laughs>